Hi guys, welcome back to the next vlog. Oh, I just realised I've got some water here. This is really, really exciting for me. I have, this has been in the planning for a long time and it's something I'm very, very proud of. I am working with Clarins and Clarins is a brand that I have championed on my blog and in my, on my platforms for I think since I started my blog, so like seven years ago. And of course I used them before that, I've always been a huge fan, but I've worked with them for years and years and years. And they came to me um, quite a long time ago and asked me if I wanted to work with them on a super special project. I'm just gonna show you. That is this. So this is the Clarins and In The Fro Summer beach tote. So this is a beautiful beach bag that we've collaborated on. This is something that you can get for free, a gift with purchase, when you buy two products at a Clarins counter, one of which to be a skincare product. But if you buy two products, then you will get this as your gift. I got to choose the patterning, the colours, and um, it's got this really sweet Clarins in the fro label. It's been beautifully stitched on here. I wanted these thick rope straps for something quite sturdy to be able to sort of take you from the beach to the pool, etc., and not be falling apart. So the size, it's got these sort of big knots on it. Honestly, it's really, really beautiful. Um, inside is a blue colour, and it's just like a big bucket bag, like this. It's gorgeous and yeah, we collaborated on the whole thing from start to finish. So I'm really proud of it and I love it and it's just, I just think it's the perfect summer beach bag. So when you get the bag, you then get to choose three miniature Clarins products. There's ten to choose from and you get to choose three to go inside it. So I brought a few with me. I wanted to bring them all with me to Marrakesh but my, um, my suitcase was getting a little heavy. So I brought a few just to show you the kind of things that you'll get inside of here. One of which, I mean, the Hydra Essential Cream is one of my favourites. But there's also things like the Extra Firming Day Cream, the One Stop Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser, the Super Restorative day cream things like this is 10 in total I take so many of these away with me every time I travel usually on the plane for long-haul flights you get three of these and then you get the bag as a gift with your purchase so if you love Clarins anyway or if you want to try just something brand new from Clarins just to try it out then you'll get this anyway when you go up to a counter for Clarins you will then see my face everywhere I am the face of Clarins for me like how huge is that I can't believe it I'm literally the face of Clarence. When we went to Mauritius back in November, we were saying we're shooting a special project and we shot that project over a few days and it, it took a long time. But that was what we were shooting behind the scenes. So the pictures that you see on the counters are shot by Alex. It's amazing that such a huge luxury French skincare brand like Clarence has entrusted me and Alex to create their imagery and their advertising imagery for this. It's unbelievable. I feel extremely proud. I love Clarence. Uh, yeah, it's a dream come true. So, this is my super special announcement. I've never done anything like this, so it's a massive deal for me. And I really hope that you guys love it. If you do go to Clarins and you pick something up and you get this, please make sure to tag Clarins times in the fro, just so we can see it. I would love to see it. I can share you on my Insta stories. That would be dreamy. I'm just on this trip now with Vita Liberata, and um, we have arrived at the most insane villa. I'll have to give you a little walk around in a minute because it's just beautiful let me rub this in don't worry it's look oh i mean look how glowy it is you guys know you guys know how much i love the vita the beauty blur in latte and this one is now the sunless glow so it tans your skin whilst it's on your face i'm just gonna go in with some concealer one of my absolute favorite favorite concealers i use I've used this for years and I still believe it's one of the best that you can get. A little bit of concealer. Okay, one of my favourite products recently is this one. The Clarins Glow and Glow to Go. And it's very holiday. Like, if you want like a really bronzy sun look, this works wonderfully. But, as well as that, I think I like it for the most is literally just to go onto the eyelids with it. It's like, tickle a little bit on your finger and then work onto the eyelids. It's so pretty. So pretty. Clarence brush. 
and their new bronzers. So there's two different palettes, one's a little bit more shimmery and one's more matte. This is 002 Sunrise Glow and the other one is more, a bit more shimmery. And I just like to take this on a brush and I can just work it through this crease and it just helps to blend that through but also for more of a, a crease shade in here. So in all the pictures that you'll see on the Clarins counters, I used all of these products. And then on the other side, it says Peachy. So dab, dab, dab. You know, I can't even see a thing. <laughs> and then I'll just go in with a big bronzing brush. I always like to kind of set, if I've used more of a creamy thing, I like to set it and then also work it onto the cheeks and down the neck and do all the blendy blendies. And then I've also just brought out these. So these are the water lip stains, which are absolutely gorgeous. I'll just show you one on actually. This one is 05. I like to look for a little bit on. Look at that, they just look like just kissed lips. So that is the new makeup collection that is launching. So I'll leave all links down below to where you can get all of those. And of course, the bag. Okay, so I'm done. I thought I should probably show you the actual finished look. My glowy, glowy holiday vibe look. I'm hosting a big event. It's gonna be, it's a full Saturday thing. It, it's three different events with lots of you guys coming along. There's gonna be makeup stands, gonna be cocktails, gonna be goodie bags, all that jazz. So I'm just gonna insert like a couple of minutes worth of clips just to show you that and show you also the counters and everything else. Today is the day of my Clarins event. I've just arrived at the space and it is absolutely beautiful. We're literally looking over Oxford Street from the top of Debenham. The whole place is set up. I'm going to show you around because it's really exciting and we're just waiting for the first group of you guys to come and see me so I can't wait. Bedroom and the work. Finally. Back into my work. Now we're um, we're checking out the pool. Got myself dressed. In fact, I love this outfit. I'll show you what this outfit is. It's, it's very much. I'm very much in the pink tones recently, aren't I? I've been putting a lot of pink stuff up. But this shirt is dreamy. I love. I mean, have you seen how nice quality is this shirt? Oh, it's a bit creased. Oh. A little bit creased. How nice is it? The quality. Mm, where's it from? Beautiful. So this is from. Um, this is Joseph from Ooh. Farfetch. This is a very, very kind gift from Farfetch. A little, and this cute pink skirt. And then my shoesies again. I think I wore these in a vlog of the day, actually. Yeah. In Barcelona. Yeah. My favourite new little Prada heels. Again, from Farfetch. I'll leave all links down below for Farfetch. I don't know if any of you guys have ever shot there, but it's just an amazing site. So many luxury products. I've only just discovered it. Loads of luxury. Yeah, it's... It... Good for guys as well. Ah, have you been having a look? Yeah, yeah. Aww, that's good. Yeah, it's just, um, it kind of curates from different shops, so it kind of takes stock from different shops everywhere. So likely, if you're looking for something that you can't find everywhere else, you'll find it on Farfetch. I always find things there. Oh, and also, I've actually, I've not shown you these yet. Oh, cool. Aren't they lovely? A lot of people wearing shells at the moment. I know, shells are huge right now. But I finally treated myself to these two that go together. Again, they're from Farfetch. Could um, just go to the beach and make your own. Yeah, but that would take effort. <laughs> <laughs> I just put it with a little Dior bag that I did get to wear the other day. Ooh, is that this tie-dye pattern thing that's It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Cool. I'll leave everything listed down below as always for my outfits, because I know some of you guys will probably love these shoes and these bracelets and this shirt, so I'll leave it down below. But um, do you know what I really want? I want a gin and tonic, and I want to lie here and just take in the sunset, because I feel like the sunset's going to be beautiful in a minute. Do you agree? I do, but this place is stunning though. Isn't now it? I can finally just relax and enjoy a little bit of it. 
I'm going to show you around the villa in approximately three minutes. Okay, entrance hall. Need a wide lens. Large and spacious and beautiful. Into the lounge, which is Aesthetics Goals. Got some Vita products. Really nice side table. Um, into, into here, which is where we have all the gins. And then in here is the dining room that we're about to have our dinner. Beautiful. And then out here, out here, we've got the fire pit and seating area. And we have the ginormous pool for about 50 guests. <laughs> Fabulous. And we'll show you upstairs later, but this is just the downstairs of the villa. Yay. <laughs> that was the worst tour ever. That was not. That was good. <laughs> and we'll show you the rest later. <laughs> Good morning. Can't get this necklace untangled. This is why you come to me, isn't it? Yeah. The untangler. Yeah. Alex the untangler. Sounds like a Denzel Washington film. <laughs> Sounds like a Game of Thrones character. The untangler. Yeah. Sit down for some breakfast. Ooh. Oh, those crappy things. <laughs> They're not fair. Is that like, no, they have a chocolate chip? Pretty cactuses. Pretty cactuses. Lots and lots of cactuses here, aren't there? Where are we? We are in Le Jardin, near to um, Mr. Yves Saint Laurent's house. Oh, look at them just all hanging out together. This is when we look at them for 10 minutes and realise they're just little statues. Yeah. Oh, wait, there's one right there. Oh, it's <laughs> Oh, they're living their best life. We could so. get turtles. Do you know we actually could get some turtles? Could pop on them. High maintenance. Yeah, nice. they would be maybe. <laughs> Might be a bit cold for them I as mean, well. I mean, I think the pigs are less high maintenance, just saying. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. I've named them. I think it has to be to begin So this was the home of Yves Saint Laurent and his partner Pierre. It's so pretty. Thank you. Is that it right there? Right here. And these are their grounds, obviously. I mean, how beautiful to live in a garden like this. I mean, how incredible. So they kind of put, I think, our lovely tour guide, I think they kind of put Marrakesh on the map by living here and creating such a beautiful space. It is so pretty. <laughs> Why is my head really like burning? It feels really bit like it's burning a bit. So I'm trying to get to water. Give me the water. <laughs> Lemunia. It's a really famous, really famous hotel on Instagram. So many bloggers have been here taking pictures in the pool. That's We're how late I to know. The party. It. We're late to the party here. Yeah. But I'm looking forward to taking some pickies. Yeah. What's going on, babe? So we're just trying to. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> we're just trying to get some cash out. Yeah, so who's going to get some cash out for me as a good friend? Because I really want to get some Moroccan bowls. And I've accidentally misplaced my wallet this morning. So I don't have my money. So now we're going into the market. So they're called the Medina. Yeah. yeah. The Medina. To look for some bowls. I'm looking for your bowls. I've seen a few bowls already. I'm quite excited it's about. Like an MTV show, Bowl Hunters. Bowl Hunters. <laughs> Fantastic idea, MTV if you're listening, hook us up. So it's really surprising, like you get all like nice little market bits, some are like super luxury vibes, and you get a gorgeous little cafe, and then you look down a little alleyway and there'll be like a beautiful luxury <laughs> restaurant like tucked away inside the buildings. It's such a juxtaposition between like different types of things. Look how nice this is. I didn't really expect this. So what did you expect? I expected it to be a lot more crowded. Yeah, I did too. I mean, I, I felt like I might be, not feel so safe. Like I yeah. have to keep an eye on you, but I don't feel like that at all. Although I, I feel like we haven't got into the midst of it yet. The middle of it yet. We're nowhere near. You no. really haven't. <laughs> I think Prepare we're on, yourself. I think we're on the outskirts right now. Oh, Alex, look, blue one. Have you found your balls? I think I found my balls. That's so I love nice. I love it. Right, you can. I found a ball. <laughs> that's cute. Oh, that's gorgeous, babe. Yeah. Double set. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
They're really nice. I love it. Oh, you've got a bag. Thanks. Oh, brilliant. Thank you so much. This week on we, Bowl Hagglers. We got haggling. We haggled. We haggled hard. <laughs> we walked away. <laughs> we got an amazing plate and bowl for, for our potential new home. <laughs> In the future. We found the dream rug and it was £1,500. Absolutely gutted. It was so nice. We are back and I'm going to look at my balls. <laughs> I'm so excited about this, but everyone always talks about going to Morocco and like, oh my god, this amazing set of balls from there. And I've always been like, oh, I want to go. So this is the first time I finally got a chance to do that. <laughs> So I got this huge plate. So how much did you get it for? So I managed to barter down to about three three twenty dirham, which is probably about thirty pound for yeah. that massive plate. Can you imagine how much they sell it for in London? Yeah, like a hell of a Come lot. Look at the back. Just a big croquet bat, and it's got the holes through it, so obviously you can hang it up if we want to. Yeah. We could maybe do that. It's beautiful. But otherwise, I'm thinking just having it laid out and have like, again, maybe fruit on it, or we could use it as like a salad bowl platter or something like that, which would be nice. So then we went back. No, that's what we bought second time. Oh, is that the second one? The first thing we bought was this. I really like This that. bowl, I do too. Again, this would work as a nice um, fruit bowl too. Mm. I really like it. I think it would make a good pasta bowl for me. But again, for when we have friends round and we're making big dishes, you know, big salads, whatever in this, yep. and then in here, I mean, you can put do it on top. See what it looks like. Do they work together? I mean, yeah, it's the same patterning. It's the same patterning. That's why I loved it. Mm, yeah, but one's grey and one's one's green. Are you happy? I'm honestly I know you're so happy. Because I know slightly disappointed at the minute. I'm, I'm gutted about the rug. That was expensive. Though, but it was but it, because it was handmade, it was oh, old, it, yeah. and it was completely wool, and it would have fit, it would have easily fit. It was probably the size of that, that this rug here. It was the size of that rug, but it was handmade, and it was just, it was, it was thick amazing. pile of wool, wasn't it? It looked super like... Almost looked a bit like sheepskin, like it was that thick. Mm, but it, it just looked super modern though, didn't 1500 it? 1500 pound on a rug is a lot. Well, well, yeah. You're getting married, mate. I know. Let's be honest. Yeah. You haven't done that. Still filming that. Oh no! <laughs> no! Oh. Is that one of those flies? I've told you to have a shower. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> so it's evening. I've like packed on more makeup, left my hair how it is, and then got into like a girl boss vibe suit. Yeah, my new shoes are so gorgeous. I love these. Where are they from? Um, these are from Farfetch. And a new blazer. It's got this like satin lapel, and the rest is a really gorgeous. Um, I'm not too sure if it's a cotton or what, but the fabric is really lovely. Slightly padded shoulders, so it gives a bit more structure, which I really like. So it's a really great shape cinched it in with my Christian Dior belt and put it with the kind of artistic Lady Dior and just some white trousers but I'll leave everything as always linked down below for the outfit but we're about to go out to where are we going to El Bardi I think it's called Palais it's a palace and we're going for some dinner so I'm quite looking forward to this I'm quite hungry I heard they don't have any couscous. I'm quite looking forward to couscous. I'm quite excited about it. So nice, couscous. they named it twice. Couscous. Is it couscous or is it couscous? Discuss. Couscous. Discuss in the comments. Couscous. Discuss. Discuss. <laughs> I apologise for Alex, everybody. <laughs> wow, look at this place. Morning. <laughs> we had a yoga session this morning in the sunrise, and unfortunately, it was cloudy, so there was no sunrise. But at least we got it done, didn't we? And now we're at the Royal Monster, about to have a spa treatment, which I'm really looking forward to. Man, the step babe, and man, the step here. Mm. Not had a 
nice little pampering spa session for a little while. So this is a big treat. So good morning, my dams. And now we've just been getting the uh, the Pronovius vlog ready this morning over breakfast, like eating with one hand and editing with the other hand. But yeah, gotta get things done, gotta get the content out. Oh, he's biting his bum. <gasps> oh my god, look at the baby ones! Oh my god, they're so cute! What's the baby vlog today? We did a little bit earlier. At the it's spa. been a bit of a busy day. It's been quite a busy day, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. We might have vlogged earlier at the spa, at the Royal Monsieur. We went to the spa, had a fun... Oh my god, we haven't talked about the spa, because I didn't talk about how naked I was. <laughs> so, so, we went to the Royal Monsieur Hotel. I've been to one in Paris, love it there. So I was like, oh, this is exciting. It's meant to be one of the best spas in Marrakesh. And um, so we went and we were going to have, we're going to go to the traditional Haman. Yeah? Is it that what it's called? Haman? Han, han. Hanan. Haman. Haman. Ham sandwich. I didn't really know what it was or how it all worked. So we can, I walk in there like this very like <laughs> restrained Brit with my little, little thong on and my, my, my robe. And, um, and she's like, okay, let me take your robe now. And just like whips off my robe and I'm like, oh. I was like, am I meant to have a top on at this point? And she's like, no. I was like, oh, okay. Hide okay. your raisins. <laughs> and, then, and then she's like, oh, you're gonna be getting, you're gonna be getting very wet. So do you wanna take off, take off your underwear and put on this? So gave me one of those horrendous black thing, things to put on. So I was like, okay, I'll just go in there and get changed. And she's like, no, no, just do it here. Literally in the middle of every one. To some people, this will sound like oh whatever, but to to be a lot of a lot of us are quite private with our nakedness. I'm not used to the nakedness, so I was a bit like, um, what are we doing? Anyway, in the end, I embraced it, loved it, very empowering. You were scrubbed. I was scrubbed from top, literally from top to bottom. On a boiling marble slab. She washed my hair. I mean, it's amazing on that that gorgeous marble slab that was boiling hot. It was your favourite there. bit jumping into the cold water at the end? And at the very end, you jump in, oh, in the very end, you get into this cold water, which is pretty horrendous. But overall, really great experience. And then we had massages. So it's been a great day. And now we're in the desert, about to have some tea. You enjoy your photo shoot, guys. Can you fair. insert a photo of my face? To be fair, I really like those pictures. I think they're funny. <laughs> I will, from those photos, I will stay single forever. Yeah. We're just inside a tent, a covered tent, in the middle of like the desert. A little romantic meal for our last night together. Got my bread, got my tomato and chutney. What else do I need? Living the Moroccan experience. Living the Moroccan dreams.